Hello everyone. Welcome to Flight Launch, our brand new show where we launch brand new products. So why don't you grab that hot cup of coffee or tea if you're like me? While you're at it, I'll quickly run by a few housekeeping rules. You may ask questions anytime during the presentation by just typing them in the Q&A section. Some very exciting quizzes and polls are coming up shortly. We request everyone to participate. Flight launch is being recorded and we will publish it online soon. Just in case you're facing bandwidth issues, we are also streaming the event live on YouTube. The link is coming up on the chat box. We have also created a Slack community for everyone to interact and network. Feel free to hop in and communicate with your peers from the drone industry. The link to join the Slack channel is also on the chat box. By the way, I am your host, Vaishali. Let me just start by introducing our keynote speaker for today, Nitin Gupta. Nitin is the founder and CEO of Flight Basing. He is a graduate from IIT Bombay and he received his master's in aerospace engineering from the University of Maryland, College Park, USA. He has over 15 years of experience in the automation and aerial robotics industry and has been an invited speaker at various drone industry forums, including AUVSI Exponential, Interdrone, and Commercial UAV Expo. Nitin founded Flightbase about four years ago to build intelligent software products for automated commercial drones. Flightbase is now a team of experts in automation, software engineering, design, and AI. Flightbase has won a number of recognitions for its innovation and world-class products, including the Grand Champion Award at the NTT Data's Global Innovation Contest in 2019. Flightbase's products are used by over 13,000 users across 125 plus countries. Welcome, Nitin. Over to you. Thanks so much, Baishali. I am excited to be here. Welcome, everyone. So as many of you know uh, that you know, at Flightbase, we have been building the technology and products to allow fully automated drone operations. Uh, this is, uh, we imagine a world where drones are able to help us with aerial monitoring, security, inspections, delivery, and various other applications with no or minimal human intervention. Now to realize this dream, a drone nest or a docking station becomes an essential component. Uh, while some drone in a box or DIAB systems have been around for a couple of years or more, they are just too expensive, complex or not very versatile. Now this severely limits uh, the adoption and this makes these systems unviable for most common applications. Uh, so what is uh, you know, Flightbase advocating for last couple of years is a solution uh, where we have a modular approach to solve this problem. Uh, if we can go to the next slide please. So the modular approach is where we have three distinct components. So one component is a reliable drone hardware, second one is a docking station, and the third one is the intelligent software. So if we decouple the problem and you know, work on these three modular components that can then work with each other and solve the problem, it makes so much easier to find an elegant solution to this problem. Now, in this direction, uh, DJI, for example, has already been working and already has proven uh, that you no know, low cost, reliable, affordable uh, drones can be made available for the masses. Similarly, now we have other manufacturers as well, uh, the likes of Parrot and Skydio and Autel, who are all coming up with very good quality, low cost, reliable hardware for making it possible to uh, now operate your drones very easily. Uh, the, sec the third component, which is the software, right? So that is another area where you know, Flightbase has been developing uh, a lot of technology. And you know, this is where we have already built this cloud connected automated uh, automation, uh, drone automation platform. And this is already available as a SaaS product. So it's very easy for anybody to access and start using. The missing component in this equation uh, you know, has been the docking station. So that is the area which has been really struggling. That has been an elusive dream for a long time. And availability of reliable, affordable docking station has been a constant struggle. We speak to a lot of customers on a regular basis who would like to deploy fully automated drones, but they are unable to do that just because of unavailability of a suitable docking station. 
well i am so excited what you know with what we are about to witness today uh, our friends at hextronix have built one of the best in class systems that we have come across you will shortly get to see the product and its long list of amazing features i will not spoil the surprise for you i am sure you will be pleasantly surprised to find out how far technology has come and how easy it will be you know for you to imagine now a wide range of applications that this can be used for be it you know aerial security asset monitoring construction sites and so on basically you can think of any repetitive use case where we need to fly a drone at frequent intervals to monitor something or to collect data and all those applications are now possible to be automated using this amazing technology so welcome once again and i hope you will enjoy the rest of the event thank you so much nitin that was definitely insightful for our audience i will now move on to introducing Kurt curtis the founder and ceo of hextronix who is going to walk us through this amazing product that we are all we are launching today a mechanical engineer from miami curtis studied at the georgia institute of technology through a strong passion for robotics and product development he started hextronix at an early 2020 and has been redefining the design of battery exchanging drones ever since over the past few months curtis and his team have been working really hard to give drones a house of their own, packed with everything they need to do our jobs, often much better than ourselves. So why don't we have a quick glimpse of what's in store for today? Isn't this a piece of beauty? Did you just like what you saw? Well, I'm just going to take the silence as a yes and move on to Curtis. Welcome, Curtis. Hi, how are you guys? We are all doing great and we have a lot of questions for you. So let me pull up uh, the ones that I have gathered from our previous customer interactions. How did you come up with the Hextronix Global? Would you like to share the journey with us? Sure. Well, it all started after graduating from university and really thinking about autonomous drone systems with some friends. And after making a few prototypes and really considering the market, I decided to take the company all the way into scaled production and put everything I've got into it. So uh, let me uh, better understand the exterior design. How did you come up with the all uh, metallic build? Great, yeah. So throughout the design of the process, we found aluminum to be the best uh, for our many iteration cycles and really anodized aluminum finish is great for our external shell because of its structural rigidity and also resistance to corrosion. And through our manufacturing process, uh, we've designed it so we've designed it so that the sheet metal is bent very, uh, very simply to form lightweight and highly reliable components. But the, this looks pretty heavy to move around with. So, what what is the weight like? Uh, wait, before you answer the question, why don't we ask the audience to take a guess? Uh, launching the first quiz of the day. Let me know if you can see it on your screens. Let us know what you think about the weight of the box. How heavy do you think it is? I think we have a few people who've done their research well before uh, coming for the launch event, Kurt. I'll just quickly wait for uh, 10 more seconds before I close down the, the quiz. So I'm ending the poll and uh, sharing the results for you, Kurt. Uh, 
Yeah, you all have read the technical specifications. Yep, the weight is just about 70 pounds and the size really allows for a variety of applications to be possible. Uh, it's lightweight enough for two people to pick up and put in the back of a pickup and heavy enough to really deter anyone from, from taking it and running away. So we found it's the perfect weight. That's amazing. It does look quite compact and travel friendly though. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next feature. Uh, it says weather resistant. So Kurt, could you tell us about the temperatures that the Global could operate in? Sure. Well, in, in Miami, we get hurricanes a lot. So we've really designed it to be IP66 uh, with weather resistance. And we want it to be able to operate safely in a temperature range of about 5 Celsius or 40 Fahrenheit. Uh, up to 35 Celsius or 95 Fahrenheit. All right, but what about our customers from areas uh, with extreme climates, like for example, Ontario or Abu Dhabi? Uh, would the global work in such a case? Precisely, yeah. Our, our engineering team has been on this since the beginning. Uh, we've developed a compact system that regulates the internal temperature of the station so it can operate in environments that go down to negative 30 C or negative 20 Fahrenheit and up to as high as 65 degrees Celsius and 150 Fahrenheit. That, that does sound brilliant. Unfortunately, uh, Kurt, most of the drone in a box stations today come integrated with their own custom drone hardware, which makes the box pretty expensive. What about the global? Does it support any standard of the shelf drone? Well, the whole principle of the product is to be cost effective and reliable. And so through our development process, we've centered on the commercial drone that we found to be the best in all classes, which is the DJI Mavic 2 series. And so since there's a big range of them, we're able to, uh, it, they, we're able to accommodate for the Zoom, uh, the Pro, the Enterprise Dual, the Enterprise Zoom, and soon, even the Enterprise Advanced, and we're also working on something for the Anafi. But what we understand is there's a significant challenge with these drones are the endurance. They only last in the air for an approximate 20 minutes, that to given stable weather condition. So once the drone's battery dies down, the how does it self-charge? Okay, so within the Hextronics Global, the drone station lives another robot. Uh, and the robot's got a robotic arm that rapidly removes the old battery, plugs it into charge, and then replaces it with a fresh new one that has been charging the whole time along with a, an array of many other batteries. This ensures that the drone receives a fresh batch every time. Furthermore, this box can accommodate up to six batteries. A robotic arm that auto swaps batteries is definitely revolutionary. But what is the downtime? How, do, how long does it take to swap the batteries? Uh, wait, again, before uh, we play the video, why don't we let the audience take a guess? Uh, launching the, the next question. Yes, it's now up on your screen. Uh, what do you think is the downtime of Hextronics Global? How long does it take to swap the batteries and uh, prepare the drone for its next mission? I'll just wait for another 10 seconds. But the audience did do it, their research part. <laughs> <laughs> I figured there are that's why they're all here. Yes, and I'm going to end the poll and share it for you. Yes. Uh, why don't we play the video? Uh, Achal, yes, and show everyone how the battery swap works. Yeah, so it's kind of like a 3D printer, you know, with a, a moving X and Y gantry, and then we uh, facilitate Z movement some ball screws and then we've actually designed our own gripping mechanism at the end that's strong enough to do everything necessary well that that's hands down one of the most critical features this would definitely save a lot of time uh, and allow users to schedule missions throughout the day uh, 
So in the video earlier, we did see three antennas in the box. Could you just tell the audience a bit more of what they are for? Sure thing. So the two small ones on the left are 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz. And those antennas control the drone uh, while it's in the air. And then the one you see on the right is for internet connectivity. That's how we do our 4G connection if you go with that package. And so 4G connectivity, it actually also doubles as a hotspot. So if you put one of these in the back of your truck, you can log into the station's Wi-Fi and be able to you know, use your computer on it. Great. Uh, also, are there any upgrades or add-ons that users could avail along with this edition? Yes, yes, yes. I'm glad you asked. There's, there's four add-on features that we have right now, and they really amplify the capabilities of the system. So they are, as we've talked about, the extreme temperature control package, the integrated cellular service, the mounted weather station, and also a flight range extender. Great. I think uh, you could let us know a little bit more about the weather station because I think that would add a lot of value for our customers, especially before flights. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. So with the Hextronics whole mission is we integrate the best possible components we find in the industry. And so this weather station is, is from Tempest and it, it provides wind speed, temperature, rainfall, humidity, pressure, all the crucial data on knowing exactly what is going on in your situation. And it also ties to the cloud to get a very accurate uh, weather forecasts that can be relayed to the autonomous software. Great. I think now we've covered most of the features. Thank you so much, Kurt, for walking us through them. Why don't we quickly jump on the flashback to Kurt's journey so far? Yes, today is the day that we open the doors of the Hextronics HQ, and we'll show you all what we have been working on for the past year. Let's roll the video. That, that just looks amazing, Kurt. Uh, maybe you could just turn the cameras and show to our audience what they have all been waiting for. Yes, here it is. We've got the Hextronics Global ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so let's, let's show it. Let's show it around. All right, so at the front here, we've got these nice LED lights that light up the landing pad even uh, in the darkness. And then, so you see the whole outside is made out of an anodized aluminum that is very corrosion resistant, very lightweight, and very structurally, uh, very good structurally. And so then in the back here, we've got the power output and ethernet output too. So you can tie ethernet from the 4G or you can import your own ethernet connection. And then inside here, we've got, uh, we've got all of our battery arrays and we've got our motors. Uh, for a more in-depth review, uh, you can contact us, but really on the, 
on the inside, it's everything you saw in the video and all the circuitry necessary to make it happen. Thank you again, Kurt, for giving us this live demonstration of the Hextronics Global. I think it excites all of us. Uh, so I would just uh, move on to uh, introducing Achal. Achal, you could, if you could put, pull back the slides oh, back. Sure, thank you, Achal. Yeah, I'll do that in just a second. Let me just find the right window. Can you see my screen back? Yes, we can. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for your patience. So I would, I would introduce Achal quickly. Achal is the director of business development at Flightbase, and he would talk about the software that com helps completely automate the workflow as well as the tight integration with Hextronics Global. Achal has over five years of experience in the drone industry and has been actively involved in product development, marketing, design, and business development. As a part of the leadership team at Flightbase, Achal has been working with several customers across the globe to provide autonomous drone-based solutions for various applications. Over to you, Achal. Great, thank you, Vaishali. Uh, thank you for that nice introduction. And hi, everyone, great to see you all here. Uh, this is the piece where we specifically talk about the third component, which is the software. So we have the reliable drone, now we have the reliable docking station, and now you need the third component to complete the picture. So this is the piece uh, where uh, we learn how you can deploy the automated drones with Extronic docking station for various use cases like security, first response, construction, mining, agriculture, etc. So be it any use case. And FlightNow Auto is that software platform. So FlightNow Auto uh, brings that autonomy to your off-the-shelf drones and it provides an intuitive cloud-based dashboard uh, to manage a fleet of drones and docking station. It provides you all the third-party integrations like for integration with VMS, that could be for security, integration with UTMs to integrate into the airspace or to the mapping software that you're already using for survey mapping for construction, uh, agriculture, mining, etc. And FlightNow will enable you to automate complete end-to-end -end aerial data collection and the complete uh, processing workflow. So let's see how it works and how it integrates with all the hardware pieces. So this is how you. Uh, this is this is a quick innovation uh, animation which helps you understand uh, how uh, everything comes together. So there are three critical components. One is intelligence at edge to automate the docking station and the drone and it connects to the cloud for remote uh, command control and telemetry. Then you have the FlightNow hub, uh, which, which is the cloud-based remote command control center. And the edge piece also enables the autonomous precision landing, which enables the DJI Mavic 2 drone, in this case, to reliably land uh, with the sentimental level accuracy every time. So let's take a quick look at FlightNow hub first and understand what are the components which gives you a perfect command center or a dashboard which can help you manage the complete operations. So FlightNow Hub acts as a command center which, where it provides you video, uh, live video streaming at ground week breaking ultra low latency. So the remote video streaming system has been designed ground up to provide data at latencies less than, less than 100 milliseconds. The multiple camera uh, systems can be integrated where you can get access to all the live video stream you can record and archive the video directly uh, through the cloud video streaming at 1080p or you can also record the live video on 4K and later reply, uh, retrieve that on the cloud from the drone's SD card. It is already integrated with thermal camera feed so you can deploy drones for use cases like nighttime surveillance or wherever you are inspecting objects which have thermal signatures. And at the click of a button, you can just generate a link and share that live video feed or data with your guest user or a customer. So that's how easy it is. Moving on to the scheduled automated patrols, uh, it allows you to do the complete mission planning where you're doing grid missions, basic waypoint missions, covering the complete area where you can create unlimited flight plans with any number of drones and execute them in parallel. So you can pre-schedule these missions and it provides you the complete automated workflow to do it with the docking station. 
and you have all the possible uh, options where you can configure each and every waypoint of what action you want to do with a generic payload uh, with a loudspeaker or any kind of uh, edit additional payload that is on the drone so you have a configuration possible uh, which is in there right now and once the missions are done you can retrieve and uh, do the complete re uh, see the complete mission data logs uh, where what what happened in what particular time and uh, get all that overview in the logs moving on to the third piece which is automated incident response so like we designed the complete video part to be ultra low latency we have designed the command and control and telemetry at the same level where sitting anywhere remotely you can control the drone command the drone sent to a particular location uh, in real time and you can do the automated mission or choose to control the drone through the joystick or keyboard and do the complete operations. You can also integrate now this with third party applications for with the intruder detection system, alarm system, security system. So you can send the drone to a particular location. So just imagine that while you have your already existing VMS or a security system, you detect something using the camera and now you can simply trigger an API and the complete system which allows the drone to take off from the historic docking station and navigate through the part to reach to that location and show you all the live situation awareness or the data on the screen. It is already integrated with loudspeaker and spotlight that comes with DJI Mavic 2 so you can remotely speak uh, through the dashboard and broadcast a message and things have been designed for uh, secure and reliable drone operations so of course it provides you to create the geofences as well as has various fail safes to have safe operations so as we talk about the safe operation there is another critical component which is autonomous precision landing just imagine having your drone in a docking station and the drone does not land every time on the docking station You don't want somebody to be sitting on the screen where first you'd have to open the box, do the configuration and launch the complete drone. So we have done the talking station uh, integration really deep, which allows us to have the complete automated workloads. So the press of a button or if you schedule the mission, the box will automatically open, the drone will take off, uh, start doing a job. On the other hand, the box will close so nothing can fall on the landing pad while the drone is doing the complete uh, uh, operation. And as the drone comes back, it will again uh, open to uh, get the drone inside. And all of this can be done with a fleet of docking station and drones. So there is no limit. Systems have been designed for scale. So now I'll just take a quick pause here and I'll again hand over it to Kurt where let's see how everything comes up together. So Kurt, if you could lead us in this video, I'll just quickly play it. Sure thing, yeah. So this video was taken uh, at one of our installations at a horse farm off in the country. And let's see, okay. So what we did is we essentially set up the box and made 
um, made a few missions around around the property. And so these missions were looking at things such as uh, the horse, the horses in the pastures, the fence posts to make sure that uh, they were all up and sturdy and none were broken. And of course, also looking at the uh, at the barns themselves to make sure that everything was in the right place and that there was no major critical leaks or anything wrong. And so through this process, you see, I was able to set each waypoint. I was able to set each height of where the drone flies and also the speed. And so now from here, I said, okay, I want to do this inspection. I want to do it once a day in the morning and repeat it every day. And so now we've got a full calendar of all the meetings. And in here I've scheduled for three different uh, routes overall. And so now you see, this is what the drone will be doing by itself essentially, is it gets the signal from the box, uh, it opens up, turns the drone on, sends it out and does the mission. And so you can see now we're, we're flying over and in this horse farm, we had enough range to do everything we needed. Uh, we found that uh, keeping everything under a mile in, in radius, it's that can cover 2000 acres and it pretty much can get the job done. However, we do offer an extender package that can almost double the range. And so now you see we're, we're flying over the pastures and all those fence posts look intact. And now, now we are going to take control because we saw that uh, we saw a little uh, we saw a little motorized vehicle moving around and we wanted to make sure that everything was under control. Okay, yeah, looked like it was, it was no big deal, but this just shows how you can just take control of it at a moment's notice and then send it back on its way to continue the mission. And so of course the, the uses for this are extreme and when it comes to perimeter security or agriculture inspection, the capability to really say, hey, uh, stop a moment and let me look at this. It's very valuable. Okay, now you can see we completed the mission and it's returning back to the station. And so with the software, it remembered its GPS coordinates from launch and then it goes to those GPS coordinates and through the precision landing module, uh, it's able to hover in a, an area that is within the error bounds of the GPS coordinates. And from there, you'll be able to see the precision landing tag and then make the perfect landing and come back home. And so then if you're doing a mission after this, or you've got one scheduled in say five minutes or so, we'll swap the battery out and then it'll be ready to go back up in the air. Great, great. Thank you, Kurt. Thanks for that little demo. That clearly helps understand how everything comes together from the reliable drone, the docking station, and the complete software. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, over to you, Basha. Thank you so much, uh, Achal. Uh, so, I think we've shown both the hardware and the software, and it seems like we've covered everything. So, why don't we call it a day? Just kidding, uh, on to the most awaited question for everyone out here. Let's just address the elephant in the room, the price of this power-packed beast. So Kurt, can you please share the detail on pricing? How about, how about you guess? Take a guess. Uh, well, there have been drone in a box systems in existence for the last couple of years. Uh, we know those those with tip, the battery swapping capability typically cost upward of a hundred thousand US dollar. Uh, now, I do definitely understand that you are trying to disrupt the market and offer a very competitive product. Uh, so, my guess would be around fifty thousand US dollars. Uh, wait, why don't we ask the audience? Audience, what do you think? Uh, let me. Uh, pull up the third quiz, quiz of the evening. Uh, let's see how well researched are you with the friend. So the, qui the, the quiz is up on the screen and um, I'll again wait for a few seconds.
<laughs> yes. A couple of seconds before we end the poll. Let's see. And uh, sharing the results. Ah uh, ho ho. Okay. So well, some of you got it right. So why don't we uh, unveil the price? Sure. Okay. So the Hextronics Global Standard Edition is now available for eleven thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. That's all. What? Did I hear that right? You mean all of this is now available for only twelve thousand US dollars? That just does not seem right to me. But wait, why do I sense from your smile that you have more to reveal? Okay, as an introductory offer, I guess we can go to nine ninety nine, nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. We're good. Wow, that is unbelievable. This is less than one tenth the price of the traditional drone in a box products. Now, now I do understand what you mean by disruption, Kurt. But again, jokes apart, this will surely enable our customers to deploy these systems for so many applications that were earlier not viable just because of the cost of the docking stations. This should result in more adoption and use of drone nest than what we have seen so far. It'll be super exciting to watch as that happens. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, you know, now that I think of it, I did promise an early bird discount for all our attendees today. Could we do anything more, just like anything, uh, for all the audience who took their time out of the busy schedule to, you know, launch, uh, attend this launch event? Vaisali, you're really pushing it. You're really pushing it. But okay. For the next 48 hours only, we'll we'll take another thousand off. So right now, you can get the global at a throwaway price of just eight thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Final. Oh, wow! Brilliant. Well, that's a relief. Glad I could keep my promise. Thank you so much, Kurt. Uh, but I think with all these price reductions, there is one question that might be popping up in everyone's mind is uh, how is the product so affordable? Uh, does that affect quality? See, this is, this is a good, good concern. Uh, the previous generation, Hextronics 1, we had it priced at about 25 grand. But since we have uh, re really redesigned the product for reliability and for manufacturing and for scale, for large volumes, we're able to pass this cost to the customers. That's how we can do it. Product quality will be ensured at all points in the assembly line, and we will not ship a product that does not meet our highest standards. Th that's great to hear. How are you handling relationships with the regional service providers, distributors, and manufacturing houses? Okay, well, over the past months, we've been receiving interest from many parties all over the world looking to become global partners and distributors of this drone station technology. In light of this, we've been working to develop a plan that will allow us to meet the requests of each partner and build a really strong relationship with them as distribution channels. And so we've come to understand that the path forward for everyone involves the procurement of one initial station. This will allow you to really understand the production quality, test it to your standards, and demonstrate with prospective customers that you have as soon as possible. And so just through the completion of the initial deposit, we'll understand who the supporters are and work closely with them on a first come, first serve basis. Well, uh, what do you hope to accomplish uh, in the drone industry with the launch of this product? Okay, so the world of drones has been rapidly growing and changing in this industry. Throughout the past five years, we've seen endless capabilities of this technology from precision agriculture, perimeter security, livestock tracking, industrial inspection, warehouse management, first response, first response, the list goes on. Autonomous applications of computer vision are revolutionizing the data we capture, the decisions we make, and the way that we live. There have been companies that show that this technology is physically possible, however, not economically viable. 
All previous stations seem to have been built with millions in funding to create such a powerful machine that it far is outside of what is necessary for adoption in pricing. My team and I have spent every day of the past year creating this product for you and for the world at a price that makes sense, because that is what we do. And because you are the ones that make the impact, it needs to be in your hands, showing the rest of the world what we're capable of in 2021. We believe that the airspace regulators will not be able to ignore this economic impact created by this readily available technology anymore. We're looking to become the catalyst for a new generation of aerial autonomy through enabling remote and continuous flight. Now the decision is up to you. What role will you play in the new age of the sky? Thank you again for sh sharing these insights, Kurt. Uh, I think one question that most of our uh, attendees have today is uh, how can they place the order for the product if they want to, since you limited the early word discount to, a 48 hour, to 48 hours? Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, just go to our website. We've got it right there. You buy it just like you buy a pair of pants online just right on our website you put the down payment and about lead time uh, orders will ship they'll begin shipment in july and we want to ensure that we only ship the highest quality machines to our customers after this it's most likely our lead times for large orders will be on the scale of three to five weeks yes and would you like to just tell the audience that they can right now just make a 10 percent down payment and then uh pay the remaining later once the shipment is about to arrive so exactly so it's 10 percent down payment non-refundable and once we have it ready for you we send you a message to say hey we're ready to ship where's the red other 90 percent if you deposit it we ship it simple as that so shipment starts from the July 1st, everyone. And uh, make sure you order one today and make most of the early bird discount that that's just available for the 48 hours. All right, I think now that uh, the most important question has also been addressed, it's time to move on for uh, to, to you know announce some exciting additional perks that we are plan that we plan to launch uh, again in this launch event. Sure. Oh, sorry. Before that, I did miss out the warranty bit. Uh, maybe Kurt, you could talk about the warranty as well. Sorry, I was muted. Okay, warranty is one year, straight up, and that's it. We got a year warranty and from there we'll make any decisions and we'll be in touch the whole time. Thanks. I think now we can just move to the perks. Uh, the, the first perk is if you place an order within the first 48 hours, you get a chance. Ta-da! Next slide. <laughs> be a part of the Flight Now Partner Program. I, I'll just let Achal speak about what are the benefits of the Flight Now Partner Program while I prepare something amazing. Sure, thank you, Bashar. Great, we saw a great product, uh, and of course, it's available right now at a throwaway price. And today, you can just book it for 900 US dollars. Who could have imagined? And that complete product comes with the docking station as well as three month Flight Now auto subscription. So, you give, get it the inside where you can put your Mavic and get started with the automated operation with all the software that we just saw. Plus, now you get direct entry with uh, into the Flight Now Partner Program, where you become one of the preferred partners because we understand that most of the businesses are looking to deploy this for uh, end users, where you would need demo Flight Now kits, licenses, you would need remote training so you can understand each and everything. You would need priority support and documentation, plus your businesses need uh, that push for co-marketing where you could reach out to people and get access to all the flight number data. So that is what we plan to do where we are already working with uh, tens of partners who have purchased docking stations uh, and we are closely working with them to uh, train them, help them with all the demos as they go with 
the demos for the end customers as well as provide them whatever marketing and uh, sales material they need to get there plus we would also help them with the complete webinars where they can come and demonstrate their services what are the additional things you could offer how could you deploy these systems uh, and everything so today if you place this order you get directly uh, entry in the flight now partner program thank you achal uh, i'll just take away the screen share from you and uh, present something sure just to say yes is my screen visible yes all right i have a huge giant spinner and we are offering a giveaway for one year subscription of flight now auto to three of our lucky viewers i i just clicked on the spinner earlier but here you go we are you are one of the first uh, winners of flight now one year subscription of flight now auto we are going to run this wheel two other times so we have three lucky winners today let's try again congratulations uh so i'll move on to the third one congratulations mati and 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 all our three uh, winners of flight now auto subscription give us a heads up in the chat box by just dropping your name and email id and we would be contacting you with all the details shortly yes that 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 is all i had uh, achal i think uh, i'm stopping the share right now and you can uh, maybe present the screen where we show the icing on the cake for today relations to everybody our team will reach out to you uh with all the next details and how you can get started with the free flight now auto subscription yes so it's it's now time to introduce uh the icing of the cake in, introducing joe citro our very happy customer and early adopter believing in the vision of autonomous drones and hextronics Joe is the owner and operator of Omaha Security Solutions from Omaha, Nebraska. He spent 6 years in the US Navy as an electronics technician, serving in three separate deployments to both the Persian Gulf and the South China Sea. He knows what it means to be operating under extreme pressure and getting the job done right the first time, every time. Joe has been working in Omaha since 2016 in the security industry. Let's hear a quick message from Joe. Hello everyone, I'm Joe with Omaha Security Solutions, and today we're talking about advancing security to the 21st century and beyond with Hextronics. Why Hextronics? Our vision is to provide an easy to use and scalable solution to clients who want to utilize advanced security systems to supplement or even replace their current security infrastructure. Hextronics takes an already advancing technology to the next level by allowing for near 24/7 uptime of a security drone solution, an industry first. It was clear from the beginning that Hextronics had positioned themselves and their partners to be on the cutting edge of the next evolution in the drone industry. end users are looking for easy to use feature Achal can you unmute yourself sure any drone solution can always complete its assigned yeah, task no matter how simple or intricate we are on the cusp autonomous machines are already relatively prevalent in our society but as systems become easier to use and less expensive to implement we will see the adoption skyrocket That was a very kind message from Joe. Thank you again if you're here and listening to all of us. We will now Thank you, open Joe. Yes, we will now open up the floor for questions from the audience. 
how we have uh, we have limited time here however uh, please type in your questions in the q and a section i already see a lot of them meanwhile if you would want to uh, place the order the the code is right up there you can just scan and, uh, on your mobile phone and you get a direct access to the the link where you can place the order the link is also mentioned below and an email is also on the way so we are we are dropping the email uh, to you as well where you can just click and and place the order again so moving on on to the q and a i think i'll start with kurt because there's a lot of questions around the hardware how often does um, the hextronics global need a maintenance visit is is there a maintenance schedule so the maintenance schedule should be only reliant on the battery packs wearing out and so they're they're rated for 500 flights and so if you're running this thing continuously with six batteries as about that's some math it, it comes down to being 2 months and so once every 2 months you should come in and change the batteries all right uh we have another question around what is the signal and battery range of the system so uh, typically how many hectares or acres can one stationary box cover sure so one station with the standard uh radio signal antennas is roughly a mile about a mile in range and so uh, a, a circle with a mile in radius is, covers uh roughly 2000 acres so that's what you can cover and uh, we also have a question around where does the remote controller be is it in the cage uh, the box or somewhere else yeah so the remote controllers from DJI we actually integrate our own antennas within them and it's a process used all over the industry and it allows us to really amplify the signal by putting our antennas through the panels of the box and really integrating everything inside great uh i think we have a lot of questions around whether you are planning to make it compatible with uh, custom built drones something that's so, built up the expo yeah so custom built drones um they are not in our road path for the next 6 months however we are interested in partnering with uh individuals who can who can provide us with an, a large need So if if we really find the best drone that will work in our station that's what we're looking for. We just want the best products if we find that there's a drone out there that accomplishes everything that's necessary is reliable or more reliable than the DJI and has an easy to swap battery, we would be more than happy to work with you. Thanks again, Kurt. Uh, we have a question around IP rating. Maybe you would like to talk about the rating it once again sure so the ip rating we built it for ip66 we've done a lot of the testing ourselves in house um we we find it to be that way kind of getting rid of some hassle but uh, eventually we will take it to a laboratory and have it officially tested but i mean it's 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 all sheet metal design uh ip rating for sheet metal is a pretty standard procedure and we designed it in this way uh so that indoor and outdoor applications all can use the same small compact machine great uh i think one question that we have is what is included in this package that you're offering at an early discount price sure well if you if you see on the on the product page what we what we offer is the station we offer the all the circuitry to to make it work inside we offer the the customized remote controller the flight computer uh the charging of the batteries and uh four extra batteries for the drone and so whatever drone that you choose we will either have the option for you to integrate whatever Mavic 2 that you currently own in order to make it automatic and so if you already own a Mavic 2 you just get the box and 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 you click a button on the Mavic 2 and it it'll sync up and you can make your drone automatic right we just need you got to put some prop guards on it to make sure it's safe flying around but but yeah so that's everything included you got to get the drone yourself and if you want any of the extra add-ons like the weather station or the internal temperature control you can pick that right at checkout 
great again uh, thanks god i think i have a lot of question around the software as well i'll just uh, quickly move on to achal yeah sure sure yes so um, uh, is the flight path planning software which is flight now available in in form of apis yes, yes. so flight now apis are available for navigation telemetry payload data where you can easily integrate the complete command and control as well as telemetry and video feed right into your application so we have number of customers who are using flight now platform to automate applications for wildlife monitoring for security for public safety and they are leveraging these apis to build their own customized workflows thanks uh, we have questions around the payloads of the dji m2e uh, mavic 2 enterprise does it work with the loudspeaker the spotlight and uh, rtk yes it does so we have integrated everything yes we have integrated everything into it where you get an intuitive dashboard where you can record your own voice or have a pre-recorded audio file to bring up a silent uh, audio or your own voice and broadcast the message through the loudspeaker so this is really really useful for public safety or emergency response operations where you can speak to the dashboard at that location and broadcast the message uh, similarly you can integrate spotlight to uh, Fill up the area or highlight an area which is really dark, and you can trigger it through the dashboard. So all the payloads that come on on the drone, be it a loudspeaker, beacon, uh, spotlight, thermal camera, RTK GPS, everything is being integrated, and it is already available in flight now. Thanks, Achal. We have some questions around the subscription of the software. Is it perpetual? It is. Is it included in the one-time cost or? is it an expiring product and needs to be renewed right so it's a saas based solution so it's a software as a service so right now if you purchase the solution you get a 3 month subscription are uh, already into the package and post that the subscription starts at around 299 dollars us dollars per month so just 300 dollars per month per drone for the starting price and then of course you have various add-ons which could help you uh, integrate more features into your existing solution can the software be hosted locally so that the cloud is not involved yes we we have a local offering however it depends on what scale are you operating it how many docking station and drones you are deploying and we can have a private deployment as well great I think Kurt, we have some questions around: Is it possible to market the station with our brand? Like, is customer branding available? Yeah, for sure. And so we can either we can offer putting some of your branding on the side, but or or you can do that after you order it. But you, we really don't want the the Hextronics logo to be covered because it's necessary for displaying. First of all, the camera vision that goes out the front, and also the lighting that allows for uh, the the landing pad to be seen. Great. Uh, one question is around: there are since since there are two RCs uh, typically available for Mavic 2, uh, the primary and the secondary, uh, for any local pilot, for example, to take emergency control. What happens in that case? Okay, so we have the uh, the primary located within the box. And pairing a secondary to take control uh, could work, or you could do it through the software as well, from right from your your laptop. Uh, can the RC be switched and on and off remotely? Uh, can the remote controller be switched on and off? It stays on continuously uh, once the station is plugged in. So you you plug in the station, you follow the boot up sequence, and that involves. Uh, clicking the power button on the remote controller, and from there, it's it stays on the whole time. The system has power. Thanks again, uh, Kurt. There are a lot of other questions that have come up. Uh, however, I think we are running out of time. Uh, we had promised one hour even to everyone, and we do not want others to uh, stay waiting in this call. So we would like to end end uh, this launch event. And before that, if you have some closing thoughts for all the un unanswered questions, we are going to quickly uh, drop you an email, or you can contact us 
or Kurt at any point of time if you have any query about the product. So over to you, Kurt. If you have some closing thoughts. Perfect. Yeah, I think today was a great day for all of us, and looking forward to working with you all in the future and really getting this box in your hands. And I think it's going to be great what we can do together. So thank you for your time. Really. Again, uh, thanks again, Kurt, for showing us the product and walking us through this wonderful product. Uh, wonderful product. Moving on to Achal uh, and Nitin from Flightbase. Uh, if you you have any closing thoughts? Thank you, Bashali. So I would first like to thank Kurt here. Uh, this was really great. Uh, as in Kurt and us have been working for several months. Uh, together to bring this all all together actually where we can seamlessly work. Uh, we have already deployed these systems, tested them well, and now we are ready to help other solution providers as well as businesses to adopt this technology. So this was really great. We really enjoyed working uh, on this uh, uh, event as well. So hope uh, likewise everybody would have enjoy the complete sequence and each and every demo that we conducted feel free to reach out to us our coordinates are right here on the screen you can go through our website uh, put us a message contact us or whatsapp uh, and we would be happy to talk to you and tell you a bit more and of course the uh, site is live you can place an order right away and book your extronic dog station with a flight now subscription built in at just yeah 900 dollars Over to you, Nitin. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so you know, it's really awesome working with uh, you know, the Hextronics team. Uh, you know, we have come a long way together. And I think uh, you know, this is the time now to really change this industry forever. And you know, so far, uh, you know, because of those expensive docking stations and expensive solutions, there were so many applications that could, could not make use of this technology. So now you know, with this democratization or you know, making this uh, solution so affordable, this will open up uh, you know, a very large market where you know, these uh, you know, a lot of these applications can now be automated using this technology. So we really look forward to you know, closely continuing our you know, collaboration with Hextronics to make this a reality. And you know, I think uh, you know, we see a lot of uh, you know, good comments from the audience as well in the chat box. So you know, it, it seems like uh, you know, uh, there is a lot of interest you know, in this product. And you know, I encourage everyone to book your orders uh, you know, ASAP, uh, you know, in 48 hours, get this amazing deal. And that will also give us a lot of encouragement and you know, a lot of feedback as to you know, what we are doing right or you know, where do we need to make any corrections. So we are always open to feedback. Please uh, you know, uh, place your orders. And you know, if you have any questions, any doubts, reach out to us. Uh, you know, Beshali has already you know, announced several channels through which you can reach out to us. And we are happy to address those questions and you know, make sure that uh, everything is answered. So thanks, thanks everyone for joining us today. Thank you, Ratin. Thank you everyone for making our day uh, this bright and for joining this launch event that we've been planning for a really long time and for making this happen and come true. We look forward uh, to the next uh, launch event and uh, keep, keep stay tuned on our social media channels and the other platforms for more upcoming news. Thank you again. Uh, have a wonderful day out there.